Melania Trump has been notably absent from the 2024 campaign trail, but her presence has definitely been felt at times, most recently when J.D. Vance brought her up at a recent town hall. Vance has embarrassed himself more than once since becoming Donald Trump's running mate back in July. Remember when he ordered donuts in Georgia? I'll give you Vance, I'm not the vice president, good see you. Okay. Or when he dodged a question about Trump in a CNN interview by faking technical difficulties? So it was a grammar thing. Sorry, could you repeat that, John? The Ohio senator has also put his foot in his mouth during speaking engagements. He may have even now exposed former First Lady Melania Trump's true feelings on politics. In a Fox & Friends interview in September, Melania was asked about her feelings about husband Donald's political career. She said, I support him. I know how passionate he is uh, to make America great again. But at an October 16th town hall in Pennsylvania, J.D. told an anecdote about Donald meeting his wife, Usha Vance, which seemed to contradict Melania's public position. J.D. said that Donald asked Usha for her take on J.D.'s political career. J.D. said Usha gave a very diplomatic answer about J.D. loving public service and her wanting to help him wherever she can. And Trump looks at her and goes, yeah, my wife hates it too. <laughs> <laughs> Melania's Fox & Friends interview was chiefly to promote her new memoir, simply titled Melania. Before it was even released on October 8th, the book generated quite a few headlines for a passage in which Melania reveals her feelings about abortion, which differ greatly from her husband's stance and the position of the Republican Party at large. She writes, it's imperative to guarantee that women have autonomy in deciding their preference of having children based on their own convictions, free from any intervention or pressure from the government. Melania also explained that she has felt that way for a long time, writing, Restricting a woman's right to choose whether to terminate an unwanted pregnancy is the same as denying her control over her own body. I have carried this belief with me throughout my entire adult life. Donald responded to Melania's comments in pretty simple fashion. We spoke about it, and I said, you have to write what you believe. I'm not going to tell you what to do. J.D. took a somewhat more circuitous route, kind of skirting the topic in remarks to reporters at a campaign stop in Georgia. Newsweek reports that J.D. said his and Donald's campaign was prioritizing other issues before adding, I think she's going to express her views. She's entitled to do it. But it doesn't change how I talk about this issue or how the campaign talks about the issue.